but if, 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 if the Senate will just you know, bear with me and take the doc fix, put that off the table just for a second. We can address that later. But just for a second, health care reform, whether it's a, you use a 10-year number or, a, or, or when you start in 2010 or start in 2014, whatever you're starting at, it is so either it's a trillion dollars or it's 2.5 trillion, depending upon where you start. I, I will be glad to, to, is that, am I not to correct? concede to the senator from Montana that the attempts of the Democrats to pay for their $2.5 trillion bill are Medicare cuts, tax increases, and additions to the deficit. We learn a lot over time. All of us do here. We learn about the issues. I hope that the senator, apparently the senator from Montana didn't learn much because he was deeply concerned 14 years ago about very small savings in Medicare. Now he wants to spend $2.5 trillion, taking $483 billion out of Medicare to create a new entitlement system. Recipients out there, the Medicare recipients, know that you can't cut $483 billion without ultimately affecting their benefits. And, and what this bill does, and what the senator from Arizona is trying to do by sending this bill back, is to refocus us on the fact that Medicare money ought to be used for Medicare. You are impacting the most vulnerable population in our na nation people who are in a nursing home who are Medicare beneficiaries. But the reality is these are real cuts and they involve real programs that involve real people in our states.